So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll teach you how to play Baron Park by Mayfair Games, where we're each taking control of a bear park located in a different country, and we're trying to build the best bear parks we can through tile placement. First thing to do when setting up the game is give each player one of these starting park tiles then place the main board in the middle of the table. This is broken into sections with two thirds of the board being taken up by the orange digger section. These are the easiest to place out as each space only gets the one tile on and they're all different shapes. So you'll just place a tile on each of the spaces until all the spaces are filled. For white cement trucks, these you'll have stacks of tiles based on the number of players. So for a two player game, use the four, six and two point tiles. For a three player game, the six, five, four, three, two. And for a four player game, all the tiles of those shapes. And there are four different shapes, one for each type of bear. And you'll stack these on the appropriate spaces so that the lowest number is on the bottom and then it goes up in number and the highest number is on the top. Then finally, for the green wheelbarrow, the two smallest tiles, you'll put all 10 of each out on the board. For the final two sizes of tile, the number you'll put out will depend on the number of players. 8 for 2, 12 for 3, and all 16 for 4. Then lay out the bear statue tokens in ascending order underneath the board. The values you'll use will depend on the number of players you have. For a two-player game, use all the even numbers. For a free player game you use the numbers from 3 to 14 and for a four player game you use all the numbers. Then take the 12 park tiles, shuffle them up and split them into two piles of six tiles. Then if you're playing the advanced version which I highly recommend, randomly select three of the different achievement tiles and take all the tiles for those types. You'll then place these next to the game board so that the highest scoring tile with the one on it will be on top and the three on the bottom. Because each player can only take one of each type of tile, if you're playing a two player game, you don't actually need the number three tile. Then pick your starting player and give them one of the single space tiles. Your second player will get one of the two space tiles, as will your third player. Then if you have a fourth player, they'll get one of the free length road tiles. You then are ready to begin the game. The aim of the game is going to be to have the most points at the end. And you'll get points from these bear statue tokens and also from these tiles that have points on them. Also, if you manage to complete achievements, those will give you points as well. At the end of the game, you'll add all these up. Whoever has the most wins. The way the game works is players will take turns. On a turn, they'll start by placing a tile in their park. The tile cannot cover up the hole in the warning tape. And if it covers up one of these other symbols, then you gain something. If you cover up a green wheelbarrow, you're able to take one of the green wheelbarrow tiles of the four available. If you cover up a white cement truck, then you can take one of the four options of tiles from the white cement truck or the green wheelbarrow section. If you cover up the workman, this allows you to take another park tile, which you'll choose from the two visible tiles at the top of the stacks. You'll take the tile and this will be placed adjacent to one of your existing park tiles. You cannot go below your park entrance, however. So if you already had two, you would not be able to place a third one there. These must be added so that the pictures are in the same orientation as your starting tile. Also, you can only have a total of four tiles in your park, including your starting tile. So with your fourth tile, when you cover up the construction space, it will have no effect. When placing a tile, you're able to turn, rotate and flip it as much as you want. And also, if you cover multiple symbols, then you gain the benefits of all those covered. So placing here, I would gain a green wheelbarrow tile and for placing over the orange digger here, you're able to take any of the tiles. Other than your first tile, when placing a tile, you must place it adjacent 
to an existing tile. You still can't cover up the hole and also you can't go off the edge of a tile. If you have multiple park tiles, you can then go over the edge onto both. You just can't go over the edge into thin space. You also can't cover up an existing tile. If like this you have filled every space on a park tile other than the hole, the tile is complete and you get to take the top bear statue, which will be the highest point bear statue, and add it to your park covering the hole. Once you've selected your tiles, play them passes to the next player. Once a player completes their fourth park tile, that's then the end of the game. At this point, all the other players get one last turn to get as many points in as they can, and the game is over, and you'll score up. So you'll add up all the numbers that are visible in your park, as well as any numbers on your achievement tiles. Numbers that are on tiles that you have not added to your park, ignore these and return them to the box. Whoever has the highest score wins the game. Final point to be aware of is that it's possible that you may not have any tiles in front of you at the start of your turn. This will mean that you then can't place a tile. If this happens, you may take one of the green wheelbarrow tiles from the market but that's your entire turn. If you're playing the advanced game, after placing your tile, if you meet the conditions for an achievement tile, you'll then take the top tile from the pile. For example, here we have three polar bear tiles, so the player would get a bonus eight points. They can now never complete this again in order to get the other points. Each player can only complete each achievement once. They can still, however, work to complete the other achievements. And that is how you play Baron Park by Mayfair Games. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.